Welcome to this video from Learn Electrics. This video is about Part P work and Part P certificates. We are asked many times about Part P and in particular what is Part P? Must the electrician be Part P registered and what certificates must the electrician give me when the work is finished? So we will look at Part P from the perspective of the householder and the electrician. First of all what is Part P? Part P is a section of the building regulations that is specific to electrical installation work in dwellings in England and Wales. In Scotland and Northern Ireland they have their own procedures for electrical work which have a very close similarity to the Part P requirements and generally if you understand the requirements of Part P for England and Wales then you will find it easy to apply the same knowledge to work in Scotland and Northern Ireland. And the wiring regulations BS 7671 apply to the whole of the United Kingdom. What does Part P mean? Well it's a legal requirement that certain building work including some electrical works are notified to the local authority building control office, the council basically, often shortened to LABC. There are two methods of notifying LABC of any notifiable electrical work that has been carried out. This can be direct to LABC or through the electrician's Part P scheme. With direct notification, the local authority building control must be notified before the work begins and they must give their approval before the work commences and they will also want to see the work when it is completed. There is also a significant fee to pay for every job. If the electrician is a registered member of a Part P electrical scheme then he or she can self-certify the work. This means that the electrician can carry out the work without involving building control and only needs to notify LABC after the work is completed. The fee for each job is only a few pounds but the electrician must pay annual membership fees to the scheme provider and must meet other strict criteria. So must all work be notified? There is a lot of confusion over this and the answer is no. Not all electrical work in a dwelling needs to be notified and we will cover this shortly. So if you are a householder you may or may not receive a building control certificate. Another question is must all work have an electrical test certificate? And the answer to this question is yes, every time. The wiring regulations BS 7671 state that all electrical work should be inspected and tested on completion of the work and an electrical certificate issued for every job. What type of certificate depends on the electrical work that was carried out and we will discuss certificates shortly you should always receive an electrical certificate. Let's look at the building regulations and what they say. Building work must comply with the building regulations and building work includes electrical work. It is an offence to not comply with the requirements of the building regulations. For a new building, when the work is complete, the whole of the new building must comply with the building regulations in force at the time that the work was planned. For work in an existing building, the actual work done, when completed, should comply with the building regulations in force at the time of planning. And the building should be no worse in complying with the building regulations than it was before the work started. The electrician has, after all, gone there to make things better, not worse. An electrician does not have to be registered with an approved body, a scheme provider, but they must be competent and able to work to the building regulations. All registered electricians will carry an ID card to show that they are registered with an appropriate electrical scheme. If an electrician is only ever carrying out minor works and is not working in special locations such as bathrooms, swimming pools and saunas there is no need for him or her to be registered. Indeed, at Learn Electrics we know many very successful electricians who started out small by only doing non-notifiable minor works until they had the skill, 
enough business and a strong client base so they could take on larger notifiable jobs, at which point they became registered. An unregistered electrician that carries out notifiable work in dwellings must inform LABC before commencing work, so there may be a delay before work can begin, and they must also have the work approved by LABC upon completion. A registered electrician, however, can carry out notifiable work immediately, can self-certify the work, and only needs to notify after completion. Householders are often unsure what certificates they should have. There are three different certificates applicable to Part P work, and you will always receive at least one certificate, and sometimes two certificates, as we will explain. First, there is the Building Control Certificate, sometimes called the Part P Certificate, which may or may not apply to the work being done. If applicable, this is essential if you sell the house. It is your confirmation that the work complies with the building regulations. There are also two electrical certificates that are issued for any electrical work and you must receive either one or the other of these. There is a minor works certificate which must be issued for all minor works and there is an electrical installation certificate which must always be issued if the work is not minor works. More on this soon. The Building Control Certificate, the Part P Certificate, is issued by LABC for any work that has been notified to them. As we said before, not all work is notifiable, so you may not get one. Shown here is an example of a Building Control Certificate as issued for notifiable work. This document must be kept in a safe place. If the house is ever sold, it will need to be produced to prove that this electrical work has been carried out correctly and has also been notified. If the work is notifiable, then a registered electrician should notify the work to his or her scheme provider, the approved body, within a few days and you should receive your building control certificate in about six weeks. Alternatively, if LABC have been involved from the outset because the electrician is not registered, then LABC will issue a building control certificate when they are satisfied that the work is complete and has been inspected and tested. The question now is, what is notifiable work? The installation of a new circuit, and as an example, a new shower is installed where there was no shower before, or a new lighting circuit is installed to a newly built extension. It could be the replacement of a consumer unit or a house rewire. Any addition or alteration in a special location, such as bathrooms, shower rooms, saunas and swimming pools. An example would be adding a second light in the bathroom. What then is non-notifiable work? And here's a few examples. Adding socket outlet to an existing circuit, except in special locations. Adding lighting points to an existing circuit except in special locations or installing an outside light from an existing circuit. Installing lights and sockets in a conservatory from an existing circuit. Installing lights and sockets in a kitchen from existing circuits. What electrical certificates should you receive? There are two types of electrical certificate and you should always receive one or the other from the electrician. It is your proof that the work has been carried out correctly and that the circuits have been properly inspected and tested. Any and all electrical work carried out should have an electrical certificate issued. Everything from changing a broken light fitting to installing a new shower circuit should have a certificate issued to you. Shown here are examples of the two electrical certificates. An electrical installation certificate on the left, which comprises several pages, and a minor works certificate on the right, which is a single sheet certificate. The electrician must give you one or the other of these for any electrical work, however big or small the job. So let's look at these now. The minor works certificate is issued after any electrical work that does not include installing a new circuit. 
or does not include changing a consumer unit. It is a one-page certificate and examples of work that it covers would be replacing a broken life fitting in the lounge or extending the socket circuit in a bedroom or replacing an electric cooker like for like. With an electrical installation certificate, the certificate is issued after completion of work that might include a new circuit, which would be a new circuit breaker, new cables, new accessories, etc. A consumer unit change, a house rewire, or upgrading the circuit breaker and cabling to a point of use. For example, a 7 kilowatt shower is replaced with a 9 kilowatt shower. The breaker and cable size will both need to be upgraded. Please note there are several pages to this certificate. If an electrical installation certificate is issued, then you must receive from the electrician two pages of electrical installation certificate and two pages of schedule of inspections and at least one page schedule of test results. The certification process is not complete until all these five or more pages are completed. Another area of confusion is so-called snagging lists. This is another name for remedial work or work that has yet to be completed by the electrician. The wiring regulations clearly state that certificates should not be issued until after all remedial work that may affect the safety or function of the circuits is completed and all the circuits that have been worked on have been competently inspected and tested. A snagging list is an admission that the work is not complete. We have listed here some examples of minor works. Replacing a broken light fitting. Changing a shower like for like. Installing a new cooker of the same rating to an existing circuit. Extending, adding extra sockets in the lounge. Adding new lights in the kitchen or removing the spur to a central heating boiler so that it can be moved. Work that needs an electrical installation certificate might include upgrading the shower from, say, 7 kilowatts to 9 kilowatts, changing the consumer unit, rewiring a circuit or rewiring the whole dwelling, or putting a new circuit into the garage for lights and power, installing a new circuit for electric garden gates or a new circuit for a jacuzzi or sauna. This little table will give you some idea of the certificates that you should receive for certain types of work in a dwelling. Part P only applies to dwellings. Some types of work are notifiable, some types are not. An electrical certificate should always be issued for any electrical work and the type of certificate depends on the work undertaken. Well, we hope that you found this video from Learn Electrics both useful and enjoyable. Hopefully, you have added some more knowledge to your mental toolbox. Please click on the like button below. By clicking on subscribe, you will have access to all of our Tech Tips videos and you will also ensure that you don't miss our next weekly video. Clicking on subscribe also helps us too. We do appreciate it and it does make all our effort worthwhile. Typing in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar will also give you access to all the videos. We are constantly uploading companion articles to our videos onto our website and these can be viewed at www.learnelectrics.com Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.